Happy Sunday, Reignite family, and what a great Sunday it is to be alive. I don't know about you, but in the last two weeks, I have felt so much hope. It just seems like everywhere I look, people are waking up or they're being shocked out of their trance or something. And, you know, groups are uniting and working together nationally and globally. And honestly, I believe that unity is the reason that freedom is going to prevail over tyranny. So let's get to the point of this video. So we are at step number 20. Now, for those of you who don't know what step 20 means, well, we've been on this journey since September the 4th last year. That's over six months. And we have taken 19 steps so far, which you can catch up on, of course. And the idea of these steps is that each step is quite easy to achieve. And the point is that every step combined is going to help us unchain ourselves from the conveniences of globalism, the conveniences that kind of enslave us. You know, the convenience of easy payment and technology and things like that, they have a place, obviously, but they kind of got away from us, didn't they? And it is time for us to understand where our data is going and, and what we're doing when we're using these conveniences. So the last 19 steps, most of them have been along this line of privacy and data and, and empowering yourselves in making small steps. Now, obviously, one individual step, step 20, for example, is not going to stop glo globalism and it's not going to give us all freedom automatically. But when we get to step number 100 or 200, my goodness, we're going to know a lot of stuff. And I tell you, I have felt really empowered along this journey with you because I have made changes that I never would have made had I not been doing the global walkout with all of you. So anyway, that's the point. You should catch up and share it with your friends. But step number 20 is another example of an easy step that we can all do and it feels good. Now, you can already see on the screen that it's about Proton Mail. If you haven't heard of Proton Mail, then um, you're welcome because it is an emailing service that is much better than Gmail or Hotmail or Outlook and those types of big organizations because it's all about privacy and it's all about the people. I've read all their terms and conditions and I'm really happy with it. I've spoken to tech experts and privacy experts. They all agree that Proton Mail is one of the best things out there. And before I did this step, I also made sure that I tried it out myself. So Reignite Freedom and the Global Walkout moved all their business emails to Proton Mail to make sure that it was usable enough and and I was felt comfortable putting it as a step. Now, there is some teething issues, obviously, when you start to use any new software, obviously, you know, you get you need to get to get used to it. But you can get Proton Mail onto your existing email uh, hosting like uh, Outlook or things like that. And it's still encrypted and private. So you're going to have to do a bit of your own research, obviously. But we figured it out. So you can figure it out too. And I've been using Proton Mail for about three weeks now to test it out. And um it feels really, really good to be supporting a company that is doing the right thing. And it is definitely cheaper than my other uh, accounts with Outlook. So it's pretty much a win-win. Privacy, cheaper, supporting a good business. Who could go wrong? So if you're watching this video for the first time or one of these videos for the first time, these are the types of steps that we do. Um, so definitely go check out the website and see which steps that you want to do. Obviously, it's all a choice. You do what you can. You don't do what you don't do. But, you know, I, I'm in this for the long haul with you guys. And if it takes 500 steps, if it takes 1,000 steps, and maybe I'll have to take some breaks in between, but we're going to keep going because one step at a time, one step at a time, we are going to unchain ourselves from the slavery of the conveniences that the globalists are trying to enslave us into. Okay, that was a tongue twister, but you get what I mean. I will see you in two weeks for step number 21. Thanks for being on this journey with me. See ya.